Mount Akagi is a mountain located in Gunma Prefecture, Japan. It is known for its scenic beauty, particularly its autumn foliage. The mountain stands at an elevation of 1,828 meters. There are several trails leading to the summit, and the climb is considered to be relatively moderate in difficulty. Here are the things we need for this hike. For the base layer, we need synthetic or merino wool, mid layer, fleece or down jacket, hard shell, um, a waterproof or a Gore-Tex parka, same with the pants, binny or warm hat with ear cover, sunglasses or ski goggles to protect your eyes, hiking boots, preferably alpine boots, but I used three season boots for this hike because they're lighter waterproof gloves, gaiters, because you don't want wet socks for many reasons, micro spikes or crampons for traction, in some cases crampons would be an overkill but better be prepared than to be less prepared, trekking poles for balancing, I didn't use them here, thermos bottles for hot water, water bottle and make sure the water won't freeze, snacks that are high in calorie, and lunch that won't need cooking. These are the items that helped me hike this mountain safely, but I might have missed some things, so be sure to double check your gears based on your needs. Hey guys, I'm in Gunma right now, and I'm hiking Akagiyama, or Mount Akagi. It's one of the 100 famous mountains in Japan, and I believe it's gonna be a good day. So, let's go. My original plan was to make a loop hike, but because of lack of research about how the transportation goes on the weekdays, my schedule got delayed and I had to change my plan and make a simple hike to catch my 317 bus out of the mountains. I'll start this hike from Kurobi Trailhead. Um, it's actually a pretty straightforward hike, but I believe there are times that Finding the trail would be a challenge. Now, if there were few people hiking and the weather turned bad, it would be very difficult to navigate. If that should happen, don't panic. Let's go home and call it a day. Now, this mountain can be hiked all year round, but I think the best time to hike this mountain is in autumn. If you'd like to hike it in winter, be sure you have the proper equipment. Jeez, it's in winter condition actually. I thought it was an easy hike, but I was wrong. It wasn't that easy because of the snow. The snow are quite dense in a way, and you might need some real crampons instead of just uh, using micro spikes. Mount Akagi, yay! It was an easy hike, but the snow was quite too deep. So yeah, uh, I had a little slippery, slippery dip. Okay. 
This is a winter hike and the snow is quite deep, so for this hike I brought extra equipment to safely hike this mountain. There are a lot of things to consider when hiking in the winter. It can be overwhelming sometimes, but I believe it is very important to be well prepared when hiking snowy mountains in Japan, whether it's a 900 meter mountain or a 3000 meter mountain. There you go, the route I did was quite easy. I could have done the loop. I was very excited to do it, but because of train trouble, I couldn't get the ideal time to start this hike. But the snowy trail view, the lake, the icy trees, and the overall scenery are quite stunning to be honest. I believe it is a worthy visit for sure, and it is also a very good introduction to winter hiking. If you like hiking in Japan, check out this video or you can subscribe to check out other hikes. Take care and I'll see you in the mountains.